Welcome people, what's going on? The Dark Game 45 here with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Silver. It's gonna be a lot of fun today, and anyway, if you remember this place because we went to it in the last episode and the episode before that and the episode before that, it's the Burned Tower. So we're gonna walk into the Burned Tower, and uh, I found a good Rock Smasher for my team, and picked it up, and yeah, this rock looks breakable. Want to use Rock Smash? Togepi used Rock Smash. So yeah, Togepi was not completely useless. We didn't even, I didn't even have to catch another Pokemon. I've got a Togepi, and it knows Rock Smash. And yeah, it's a Togepi. Look at it. It's adorable. It knows Growl, Charm, and Rock Smash. Hell to the freaking yeah. Anyway, uh, Fire Breather. Hey, I'm secretly training him. Don't embarrass me by looking. So he's Fire Breather Dick. He's a dick. But we're gonna go for some poison stings, and he is really doing a lot of damage. And then we get a French, so which means we win. Yay! <laughs> and he actually says he burns down to white ashes, and then he turns gray. And I think that's like the coolest thing in the world that he just he says he burns down to white ashes, and then he turns gray. It's just hilarious. But anyway, we are gonna fall down this hole. We hole. Oh, what are these guys? Look like statues. Whoa. Do 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 do. Blah, blah, blah. Do 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 do. Anyway, one of those, that's Raiko, and Tay, and Suicune goes running off. Isn't that adorable? All three of them go running off. We just woke them up from the burn tower, and they're going to be available for running around. Holy crap. Had I known that I could get a Magmar, my god, I would have gotten a Magmar. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really, really want to kick someone out of my team to get Magmar, but no, because I can't. I want to use everyone on this team, and I already have. So, sure. that was what we need to do in here. So, yeah, Raikou, MT, and Suicune are going to be running around like little crazy chicken people with their heads cut off. And, yeah, they're just going to keep running around and randomly appear in the grass every once in a while, and then we can track them and catch them, hopefully. And that'll be cool. My background just changed to my favorite picture. Hello. Anyway, um, yeah, I say hello because certain people will know exactly who it is, but it's okay. Anyway, it's not porn, by the way. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. It's also a talking point because I'm running out of things to talk about. Anyway, we're going to heal up because, um, Edgar needs a little bit of healing, and then we're going to go buy a monstrous amount of awakenings, and that's going to be fun. So, that's the plan. Um... Do, 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 do. Ooh, potions, actually. I'm going to stock up on 10 potions. I like having potions and super potions just for the random nicks and scrapes that things acquire when they, like, it's like 20 damage, it's like 50 damage, but when it's 20 damage, you really don't want to, like, ooh, that's what I'm calling. What's up? That's my Skype. I'm in the middle of recording. But anyway, um, please come again. I completely lost my train of thought. I completely lost my train of thought with that. Oh yeah, when when you're like in the middle of nicks and scrapes and it's like, oh well, you know, they have 30 damage, I don't want to use a super potion, or like, ah, oh, 70 damage, I don't want to use a hyper potion, I just throw a couple super potions and potions in my bag just to make sure. But anyway, that's enough rambling for me, we're going to go for Edgar and this guy. I spent the spring with my Pokemon, in summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. I believe it's a level 22 Haunter. Yeah, it's a level 22 Haunter. And that's why I went with Edgar. He went for something, and then he was for Spite, and we took him out with a crit, and then a normal bite. So that's cool. Sage Jeffrey was defeated. Wins and losses. We experienced them both. And Edgar is evolving! Oh my god, Edgar the Ekans is becoming our... I, I don't know, I'm going to come up with a cool A name, but we, first we have to get our A game going. Anyway, congratulations, you're Edgar, you evolved into Arbok. We have an Arbok, people. This is awesome. Edgar is go totally going to demolish this entire gym now, because his special attack probably didn't change at all. 39, yeah, I mean, Mint Berry, self-awakening, always good against Morty. So that's the plan. Um... So, Edgar is going up in the world, we're going to go into Charles first against this lady. I don't even remember what she has. I shall win! Um, okay, she has a Ghastly, which dies to one serve, <laughs> and then she has a Haunter, and we're actually going to beat it to Greg, 
because magnitude affects them in this gen, which is awesome. And she has them in a gasoline, which we're going to feed to Charles once more. Level 20 probably won't die to one side. Actually, I did. So that's cool. I, I, I lost. Yes, you did, lady. Anyway, so we made it to the gym leader, and this is Morty, and I'm going to save real quick just to make sure. Because Morty is always a pain in the ass. But anyway, here we go. Good of you to have come. Here in Equity, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that legendary Pokemon will appear to the truly powerful trainers. Well, I just saw three, so I mean, whatever. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. You're going to help me reach that level. <laughs> Anyway, that's the gym leader thing. Moving on. He has a Ghastly, a Haunter, a Gengar, and a Haunter. And by the way he arranged them around, it's really awkward because you should get $2,500 out of this, but his last Pokemon is actually a level 22 or 3 Haunter, so you get 2300 instead of 2500 or 2200 One of the two. But it's unfortunate and it pissed me off. But it's okay, because we're going to destroy him. And Ghastly goes for Curse, which means the Charles of Surf is absolutely going to one-shot. So, this is cool. Do -do 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 -do. You always want to get off to a strong start against Morty, just because he has such a good end game. And by that, I mean when he brings out his Gengar, things tend to get shit on. So, anyway, he's going to go into a Haunter. We're going to go into Greg. Because Greg can take on Haunters with ease. Can't take on the Grangar too well. He actually has a level 21 Ghastly and level 21 Haunter. And we're just going to go for Magnitude. And he's going to cut his HP in half. Which means that even if we got like a Magnitude 4, we still should kill. But we got a Magnitude 7, which is a decent number. By the way, Magnitude 7 coming out to be pretty powerful. He's just going to be super effective and take him right out. So, sweet. Love the fact that this is in 3rd gen and they don't levitate and Greg grew to level 23. Also, ghost type moves are physical, which means that Geodude takes some of these, which is cool. But yeah, moving on. Need more, he's about to use Gengar. Okay, shit's about to get real. We're going to go into Edgar, because Edgar has the Mint -a Berry. It's going to be very useful against this Gengar. Uh, Edgar, being an Arbok, look at that. He is such an awesome person, but he's going to go for hypnosis. He doesn't hit the first one, which means we're absolutely going to get off two bites without any kind of anything from him. He's going to waste a turn going for mean look, so this is really looking good for Edgar, actually. Um, yeah, super effective, and he misses another hypnosis. Edgar, you made this look so easy that he's living on one HP, and he misses another hypnosis. Edgar, you made this look way too easy. Like, I'm not even kidding how much of a gang, how much of a pain that Gengar is when it doesn't miss three hypnosis. He can hit like 10, 15 in a row, even if you use awakenings. And then he has Dream Eater on that thing, and it's just a pain in the butt. But Edgar, making it look easy, had the Mint Berry in case he got one off, but no, no, just making it look far, far too easy. But he's got one more Haunter left, we are going to give that to Norman, Norman the Noctowl, and then we're going to go change our box name eventually. I'm going to do that probably before. Whatever, but he's gonna go for me and look means we can't escape, and that's unfortunate, but we're gonna go for Peck, and the only thing he can do to me is curse, which means that when he does ooh, actually I forgot that he put mimic on this thing. I usually just kill it in like two hits anyway, but we got two crits to take out a haunter, and that's awesome. We get to hacks the hell out of Morty as opposed to getting hacks. So you know what? I feel a little better about myself right now. But we defeated Morty in the 13th episode of my Let's Play. So anyway, we... Alright, this badge is yours. So we got $2,300, which is a ripoff because we should be getting 25 But we received a fog badge. And guess what fog badge means? It means we get the surf. By having the fog badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that know surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this too. Do 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 
Do do do do do do do. We got TM30. Sweet. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce spdef. Use it if it appeals to you. It does highly appeal to me, but I don't have anyone that can abuse it very well right now. I guess maybe if Armand could learn it, that would be preferable over Bite, but I don't think it can. Phew, Doug, you did great. I was cowering in the corner out of pure terror. I just actually real quick gonna check to see who can learn Shadow Ball because I'd like someone to know Shadow Ball. Nope, no one can learn Shadow Ball, so never mind. That's a little disappointing for me, honestly. I really, really would have liked for our to learn Shadow Ball. But um did we we didn't hold up, did I even Yeah, I did take Joe the out of my party. I wanted to make sure. Wait. Okay, hold on. Look at that. He didn't even hit one of my Pokemon with a moon. That's unheard of for Morty's Gym. I've never gotten out of that place without at least losing someone. Oh, I feel like I'm coming up in the world. But anyway, we're going to go this way for absolutely no freaking reason other than because it's Mount Mortar. And we're just going to, Water's Call, want to serve. Charles turned into a Lapras. So cool, we have a Lapras. And there's a gold beam in our face, and we're just going to run away. But yeah. Chin Chow turned into a Lapras, and that was cool. So, yeah. Anyway, item. We found a Super Potion, and this is the quick way of getting around Mount Mortar. When you really, really don't want to go through Mount Mortar, you just do that. So, anyway, uh, we have a Fisher guy, so we're going to go with Manuel. Let me show you the power of the Pokemon that I caught, and he has a Quillfish. And, yeah, he has a Quillfish that knows Harden, and, yeah, dies to two Thunder Shots. What? That's not right. Yes, it is. Ah, you're pretty tough. Sure, why not? I don't remember if he gives us anything, but it's okay. We don't need him to give us anything. But this guy has Nidorina and Nidoran? Nope. I don't remember. This is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Yeah, he has a Nidorina and a Nidorino, I think. But we're going to go for two hypnosises. We missed three hypnosises, so now I'm starting to feel a little bit more like Morty. We missed three hypnosises. But poor Pex is going to take it out. He has a Nidorino and a an arena, and he's going to say maybe I should have used Moonstone, but he gets the first turn wake here, but Norman's going to take him out, and yeah, maybe I should have used my Moonstone. Maybe you should have, but um, we have a hiker to go through, so we're going to put Charles in the first slot. What's up, hiker? Ah, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. Well, that's great. He has a Diglett. We're just going to surf that thing. It's going to be awesome. Then he has a dig trio. We're going to surf. Oh, God, it hit me with a magnitude 8. But I forgot how speedy those things are. But then he has a Geodude. And since we grew a level, we're going to go into Bert and take him out with race wave. So that's cool. <laughs> but that's funny. Um, Welcome to Mahogany Town. We really... I'm not sure if we're supposed to be here or not. But it's always nice to visit places. Good morning, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Uh, shut up. So, yeah, we are in Mahogany Town, and we can't go into the gym. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. We should check it out right now. I'm talking like right freaking now. Well, we're not going to do that right now. We are actually, we just went here simply to get it on the map and to battle some trainers, because those were the next three trainers that I could technically fight, and I wanted to get that experience in. And then we are actually going to go back to Olivine. And why am I walking? I'm just going to meet you guys there. But anyway, on the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Silver, we are going to go back to Olivine City and surf our way to Simon and maybe take on the gym down there. And that will be fun time. So until the next time, this is Dark Doom 45 signing out. See you guys later. Keep coming back to SLM for battles and LP parts. And yeah, I'll keep this going for you guys. Two episodes a day, and it will be good time. See you guys later. Have fun. Peace out.